demigods of Greece and Egypt. Long have the learned wondered what foundation Grecian mythology might have had. Now, taking heed to the sure word of God, we perceive that the angels who materialized before the flood were the gods of mythology, while their offspring, the giants, were the demigods. The suggestion may well start a flood of reflection in thinking minds. Egyptologists have been astonished by their findings in the tombs of the pharaohs. In some of these, historic tablets have been found, tracing the ancestry of the pharaohs apparently back to creation, the first pharaoh, Adam. But these tablets show so many more generations than the Bible records that Egyptologists lose all faith in the Genesis account. They become higher critics, discount the Bible records, and pin their faith to the Egyptian tablets. They confess, however, that these tablets vary and more or less contradict each other. Conceitedly, the most accurate is the Abidus tablet, found in the sepulcher of Setai I, probably the pharaoh who made Joseph his prime minister and who is supposed to have died about 120 years before Moses was born. The chief fault found with this tablet is that it is not so lengthy as some of the others. Nevertheless, Pharaoh Setiphus preserved this tablet for us with great care. He sank a shaft 60 feet deep through solid rock. At that level, his masons cut out the stone staircase on which the Abidus tablet is portrayed. An exact copy of it is to be found in the British Museum. At considerable expense and with difficulty, we have secured the photograph of it, which we here present. Our object is to show that this best of Egyptian records fully corroborates the Genesis account. This list of pharaohs is shorter than the others because it omits the names of gods and demigods. It is the complete Egyptian record of the purely human line of rulers back to Adam. Furthermore, these omissions occurred at the appropriate place at the time of the deluge.